Good morning, everyone. Gadget here. And over the last few months, I've been spending a lot of time and money investing in my work from home experience. And over that time, there have been a few notable upgrades that really leveled up this experience and ultimately just made it more fun to work from home. In this video, I'm gonna talk about my work from home essentials. YouTube and Reddit are a great source of information when you're looking to deck out your office experience. And I came across a video from Patrick Tommaso, a local Canadian creator who just outlined some of the cool upgrades he made for his home office. And he gave me the idea for a Vesa mount and using it in a unique way. You see, I have this thing mounted behind me and instead of sticking my monitor there, what I opted to do is use it as a base that I can throw my laptop on or my iPad on and add a magic arm. And this allows you to prop up a camera that you may already have and use it as a webcam for conferencing or even use it for live streaming. The camera that I use is the X-T3 from Fujifilm with a wider lens, generally going to something that is the 16 millimeter from Fuji's offering. Having this connected to a continuous power source and a micro HDMI running into something like the Cam Link Elgato, that is offering a ton of versatility for the content you might wanna create behind the desk. Now the key to great video is Great audio. So I invested in a Sennheiser MKE 600 microphone that sits on a Gator Frameworks arm also behind my desk that I can swing in and out as needed. This allows me to capture fantastic audio, maybe record some voiceovers all from behind my desk in a cinch. In a pinch? In a snitch? There's a word there, take whichever one you like. This microphone is connected to my M-Audio 192 interface, allowing me to take that XLR input and turn it into a digital signal that then gets routed into my computer, allowing me to get a ton of versatility, again, from behind my desk. Now there's a myriad of other things that also flesh out the system, but what really brings it home is a nice widescreen monitor with a really good color rating, allowing me to just see more of my timeline or Photoshop file and get images that are way more true to life with respect to color accuracy. I've also upgraded to an MX keyboard and MX3 mouse from Logitech to really make this experience far more smoother and easier to use. And the one last addition that I didn't think I was gonna get is the Loop Deck Plus. This interface plugs into your computer or your monitor if you have the ports available and allows you to just map a bunch of shortcuts to buttons and dials. So when I'm editing in Final Cut, I almost never have to touch the keyboard or mouse for my preliminary edits. I can quickly scan through my timeline, make cuts, add keyframes, tweak the color, all from the loop deck itself. It offers a ton of versatility. When it first came out, I thought it was a bit of a gimmick, but over the years, a team there has really fleshed out the firmware. There's been great third-party support. And ultimately, if you find yourself editing a lot of content in Lightroom, Photoshop, Final Cut, Premiere, this is something that can save you a lot of time and really get back to capturing. So for me, it was definitely worth the upgrade. And there you have it everyone, that is my list of work from home essentials. More importantly though, I'd love to hear what you have behind your table or in, in front of your table, whatever it may be. Let me know what some of your essentials are and let's continue the conversation in the comments below. My name's Gadget. thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.